Hi, Sarah Glasgow Mummy here and welcome to my kitchen. I was sent a food saver over Christmas and I thought the easiest way to tell you about it was to film a little vlog. So I'm going to film a quick vlog just to show you how the machine works and tell you a little bit about it as we go. Um, what else do I need to say? Nothing, I don't think. Okay, so this is the food saver, and the one that I have is model FFS002. Um, and it's really easy to use. So there's two clips at either side here that you push in to lift the lid. And the pack came with some food saver roll, and this is kind of the cutting bar. So, oops, so this lifts up and you feed that through, so that's that ready to go. Um, and then down in this bit here we've got a drip tray which comes out and that's basically it. Um, on the front there's two buttons, so there's one for the vacuum, so the food saver can um, work as a vacuum where it sucks all the air out of your bag of food or it also acts just to seal the food over and there's a button here which just seals only. Um, and it's also supplied with tubing so that you can vacuum out of special food saver um, like plastic boxes and tubs and things but I don't have any of those. Um, so what we're going to do just now is I'm going to marinate some chicken with some um, green curry paste because that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight and if you marinate food when it's all vacuum packed you can do it in an hour whereas normally you'd have to leave it overnight. So I'll show you what to do. In the first instance you want to create your bag. So you pull this out until you've got the size of bag that you want. So let's say about this kind of size. And then we use this chopper to cut the plastic. Just hold that down. Chop. So there's your bag. And um, there's your plastic. But it's open on both ends. Look. Um, so the next thing you need to do is seal over one side using the sealer. So you pop this in there and close this over, yeah, about there I think, and then you push it until it clicks out on either side. You can see the green bit popped out and then you press the seal button. Oh, it would help if I switched it on. <laughs> There's a little green light that pops up to tell you that it's sealed proper, um, closed over properly and then seal it. So at this point a little red light is popped up and then when it's finished that will go off. Oh, there we go. So that's, a, that's the red light off and then open it up. So okay, so I've sealed it over but not very straight and then that gives you a bag. So we'll just go ahead and put the chicken in here. Yeah, I'm going to mix it up. Can I give you that? What I'm going to do is put some oil in, the oil that we would use to cook the chicken. Right, okay, so I've got the oil and curry paste in with the chicken and then I'm going to vacuum it over. The open end of the bag into the drip tray and close it over until it clicks both sides. And then this time we're going to push the big middle button which will vacuum and then seal. Okay, and I think that's it. So the green light is on. Open it up. And there we go. So that's the air all out of that. Air's all gone and it's sealed over and I'm going to stick that in the fridge for an hour before I cook it. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. I need to do it again.